This thing is Spinosaur. I mean, at least for now. You know how superheroes like Spider-Man, Batman, and Superman always seem to get a new actor? First, you've got Bully Maguire as Spider-Man, then Andrew Garfield, and now Tom Holland. Each actor brings their own spin to the character, but other characters like Iron Man or Deadpool stay loyal to one face. Well, Spinosaurus is kind of like that, but instead of actors, it keeps getting completely new designs every few years. One day, it's a land-based predator like T-Rex. And the next, it's a fully aquatic crocodile-dinosaur hybrid. But why does Spinosaurus keep getting these reboots when dinosaurs like T-Rex or Triceratops have a pretty consistent image? To answer that, let's dive into Spinosaurus's long and fascinating journey, from its discovery in 1915 to its most, most recent redesign in 2020. The story begins in 1915, when German paleontologist Ernst Stromer discovered Spinosaurus fossils in Egypt. These fossils were incredibly exciting, it had long neural spines on its back that formed a sail, making it unlike any other dinosaur at the time. But there was one big problem. The fossils were incomplete. Scientists didn't have a full skeleton to work with, so they filled in the gaps with their best guesses. Based on what Stromer found, Spinosaurus was depicted as a bulky, upright theropod, similar to T-Rex, but with that unique sail. Unfortunately, the original fossils didn't last long. During World War II, they were destroyed in a bombing raid on the museum where they were kept. All that was left were Stromer's notes and sketches. This left Spinosaurus as a mystery dinosaur for decades, with no new discoveries to confirm or challenge Stromer's ideas. Fast forward to the 1970s and 1980s, when paleontologists started re-examining Spinosaurus. Without new fossils to study, they had to rely on comparisons with other theropods and make educated guesses. During this time, Spinosaurus was slimmed down and given a more dynamic, athletic look. It was still depicted as a land-based predator, but its long crocodile-like snout started to stand out in reconstructions. This era was all about trying to fit Spinosaurus into the mold of other large theropods, like Allosaurus or Giganotosaurus. The idea of it being a land-based apex predator made sense because most of the known theropods at the time fit that category. But there were still a lot of unanswered questions, and Spinosaurus remained a work in progress. In 2001, Spinosaurus got its big break in Jurassic Park 3. If you've seen the movie, you probably remember it as the dinosaur that defeated T-Rex in a fight, cementing itself as the new king of the dinosaurs, at least in Hollywood. This version of Spinosaurus was designed to look terrifying and powerful, with an exaggerated sail and a huge crocodile-like snout. While this design was visually striking, it wasn't exactly accurate. Scientists didn't have enough evidence at the time to confirm Spinosaurus was this bulky, land-dominating predator. Instead, the movie's design team prioritized making it look cool and intimidating. And it worked. This version of Spinosaurus stuck in people's minds for years. It also helped bring Spinosaurus into the public spotlight, making it one of the most iconic dinosaurs of all time. But things started to change in the late 2000s, as new fossils were discovered. These fossils hinted that Spinosaurus might not have been a traditional land predator after all. Scientists began to notice adaptations that suggested it spent a lot of time in water. This was a game changer. Reconstruction artists started to give Spinosaurus a sleeker, more streamlined body. Its long snout, narrow skull, and potential adaptations for swimming made it look more like a predator that could hunt in rivers and lakes. At this point, Spinosaurus was transitioning from a traditional theropod into something much more unique. However, these changes were still speculative, and its exact lifestyle remained a mystery. In 2014, Spinosaurus went through one of its biggest transformations yet. A new fossil discovery revealed something shocking. Spinosaurus had unusually short hind legs for a theropod. This completely redefined how it would have moved and hunted. Short legs, combined with dense bones and paddle-like limbs, pointed to one conclusion. Spinosaurus was primarily aquatic. This redesign shocked the scientific community. No other large theropod had ever been reconstructed as an aquatic predator. The Spinosaurus of 2014 looked completely different from any of its earlier depictions. It had shorter legs, a narrow pelvis, and a body that seemed built for swimming. This was a dinosaur that hunted fish, not other dinosaurs, and it spent most of its time in the water rather than on land. If the 2014 version of Spinosaurus was revolutionary, the 2020 redesign took things even further. Fossils of Spinosaurus's tail revealed that it was broad and paddle-like, similar to the tail of a crocodile. This was the final piece of the puzzle that confirmed Spinosaurus was an aquatic dinosaur. 
Its tail would have been perfect for propelling it through water, making it a highly specialized swimmer. The 2020 Spinosaurus looked less like a theropod and more like a mix between a dinosaur and a crocodile. Its long, flexible tail and fully aquatic adaptations made it one of the most unique dinosaurs ever discovered. By this point, Spinosaurus had completely stepped out of the shadow of other theropods and established itself as something entirely different. So why does Spinosaurus get a new look every few years? The biggest reason is that its fossil record is incredibly incomplete. Spinosaurus fossils are rare, and many of them are fragmentary. Every time a new piece is discovered, it adds a huge chunk of information that can drastically change our understanding of the dinosaur. Another reason is that Spinosaurus is just so unique. Most dinosaurs fall into familiar categories, meat-eating theropods, plant-eating sauropods, etc. But Spinosaurus doesn't fit neatly into any of these. Its mix of aquatic and terrestrial traits keeps scientists guessing, and its design reflects that constant search for answers. Finally, science itself is always evolving. Paleontology has come a long way since the early 1900s, with new technologies like CT scans and biomechanical modeling giving us deeper insights into how dinosaurs lived. Spinosaurus has benefited from these advancements more than most, and each new discovery reshapes its story in dramatic ways. From its first appearance in 1915 as a bulky land predator, to its modern depiction as a swimming dinosaur with a crocodile-like tail, Spinosaurus has gone through more changes than any other dinosaur, and that's part of what makes it so fascinating. Every redesign brings us closer to understanding this mysterious creature, and it's a reminder that science is always evolving. So, the next time you see a new version of Spinosaurus, don't think of it as scientists being wrong before. Think of it as a new chapter in the story of one of the most unique and captivating dinosaurs to ever roam the Earth. Who knows? Maybe in a few years we'll see yet another version of Spinosaurus, one that answers even more questions, or raises new ones.